About 40 years ago, flounder were plentiful in the waters of Frenchman Bay, a scenic harbor near Maine's Acadia National Park. But over the past 30 years, flounder, such as the ones seen here, and many other species of fish, have virtually disappeared from these waters. Scientists blame the disappearance primarily on the destruction of eelgrass, an important underwater plant on which many marine animals depend. Eelgrass is really important because of the habitat it provides to lots of marine organisms, especially larval forms of organisms that need a place to uh, hide and a place to eat and a place to grow up. Dr. Jane Disney is an environmental scientist at the Mount Desert Island Biological Laboratory, also known as the Biolab, an independent research facility near Frenchman Bay. Without eelgrass out there, there, there isn't a comparable habitat um, that will provide that kind of shelter to organisms. Dr. George Kidder is a senior scientist who's been working at the Biolab for 30 years. He believes certain modern fishing practices, like the fish trawling we see here, are responsible for the decimation of the once prolific eelgrass beds. We've destroyed them by harvesting other species by dragging the bottom. And when you harvest mussels, for instance, you uh, pull up uh, a sample of the bottom, uh, uh, keep the mussels, and throw what's left of the eelgrass back overboard. Dr. Disney says the mussel trawlers have acknowledged this is a problem. They agreed to stop trawling in one area so the eelgrass can recover, but they still trawl in most of Frenchman Bay. So all the ones we're tying on here are vegetative shoots. Kidder and Disney are working with volunteers to restore this essential underwater plant to the bay. Where do you think, George? Anywhere along here. We put these grids down with the plants tied on, brick side up so that the roots mush right down into the sediment. And um, the idea is, is that the roots uh, will spread underneath and by the time winter comes, the plant tops will die back. We can take these grids back out and what will be left behind is a root system to send up shoots in the spring. So we do this each summer and check it again the next summer, right? And there it is with a piece of float rope to help us find it. Restoring eelgrass to the bay has been a painstaking and time-consuming job, but according to Disney, it is having results. We do have some, some really nice beds out there, and three years ago we had nothing. While the newly planted eelgrass beds are attracting many forms of organisms... These are baby mussels. Each one of these little seed-like things is a baby mussel. It is the larger creatures that seem to generate the most excitement. Look at the school of fish! Look at the school of fish! Right through our eelgrass! There are a few fishes that we are finding in the eelgrass beds, and that's making us feel optimistic. A few flounder have been picked up out there by local fishermen, so um, we're feeling like, wow, maybe flounder could start to rebound out there. The Biolabs director, Dr. Kevin Strange, says the return of fish to Frenchman Bay is good news, not only for the local environment, but also for the rest of the world. Our oceans are really international. Uh, nothing can be done in one part of the globe to the oceans that doesn't start to impact the other parts of the ocean in some way. And so I think really trying to restore environments, trying to learn about what we're doing to these ecosystems, trying to prevent damage uh, is, is critically important. Seeing flounder and other species back in Frenchman Bay has been an encouraging development for scientists at the Biolab who continue to monitor eelgrass beds for signs that the health of the ecosystem has been restored. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Bar Harbor, Maine.